Are you looking to advance your character design skills? Visit silverdrawingacademy.com. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Art Talk. So today I wanted just to talk about AI once again. I've had a discussion about it, but I just think it's just very important just to bring it up, just to try to reassure people that it's not the end of the world and that the most important thing for artists in our generation is to really have an acceptance, to be honest, to accept that this is here. And I just don't feel like it's going to go away. It's not only uh, emerging across all walks of life, so to speak, in all different categories, all different areas from journalism to the medical industry, whatever it may be, it's in the art industry. And what I feel is going to happen, it's not there. Absolutely. Some jobs are going to be, uh, lost and they're going to be lost. AI is not going to take over all the jobs, but where AI is going to make jobs, uh, where jobs might get lost is definitely in the painting. Uh, arena, but also in the arena of if a studio may be hiring or looking, you know, at one point, maybe they had seven artists there, they're going to whittle that down to maybe about four artists or so and have artists who have to be capable. And that's the most important thing that you just have to keep in mind here that AI can't do everything that it needs to do right now. There's stuff that looks pretty good, but it still needs that tweaking and that altering. Not to say that it's not going to get, keep getting better. It will. It'll keep evolving. This is what AI does. Artificial intelligence does. What you're going to want to do is just make sure that you're building up your skill levels to when there are those jobs that are going to be around. You're going to see these mixed media sort of jobs come about. We, we're looking for an illustrator to work with AI um, infused uh, illustration work and what they're going to have their expectations of you are to come in and be able to make fixes and changes to certain things that have actually been put out there. So those jobs, you're going to see those jobs, I truly feel, um, start to appear. And that's something just to keep in mind. So you don't want to give up. You're not just your hands up. I'm not even going to try. That would be the biggest mistake you can make. We have to evolve. And as we evolve as a human species, as a human race, as everything that we are, there's an evolution in this art industry. And this is where we're moving into. So we can't deny it. We can't hate on it um, to the point where we're not going to let our lives uh, be satisfactory because of this AI. Don't let AI dictate your life. And that's what I'm trying to stop more than anything. There's a lot of really shitty things. I don't like the fact that it's pulling artists work. I don't like it's doing those sort of things. I do feel like there's going to be, if you're taking your own work and you train the AI to understand your work and all your illustrations and what you do and start to use it to that advantage. And now you can start to create multiple ideas based around your style, who you are. That's going to be extremely helpful and time saving for you eventually that you're going to be able to move into that and help spark ideas where maybe you hit a certain plateau where you're just like, I can't think of anything else more. And it's going to base off your own work. It's going to help you create more work. So there will be that slow benefit into this that's happening. And I just don't want you to reject it altogether to where you're giving up on this. This is a, just a very important message, honestly, that I really want to share and get across um, just knowing that this is this is the reality. And also, you know, I work in the animation industry. I work as a recruiter in the animation industry. AI has not touched into this area, especially in the television side. Right now, it's incapable. Not to say, will it eventually five years from now or something else happen? But right now, it can't generate storyboards. It's not going to create with consistency a painted or drawn style line artwork of backgrounds and doing that. It's not creating the turnarounds. It's not create going to do mouth charts for you and build upon all that. It's just, it's not capable. Again, I want to say, I'm saying that now it's 2023. Am I going to be in 2027? Am I going to be saying, well, look like it's doing all that now. Who's to say we can't control that. But all I know is if you just take the bull by the horns, you take control of your destiny. You start to not let this be a blockade in front of you and say, yeah, 
this wall is here, but I'm going to figure out a way and keep moving through. I'm going to go over it, under it, around it. I'm going to keep doing what I can, doing my best to keep improving upon my skill set because that's when you're going to find the most joy and satisfaction anyway. You don't want to just be sitting there and just hitting a button on a machine and generating for you anyway. I mean, what kind of career or job is that going to be? You're not going to enjoy that. You're not going to find any value in that. But you, where you're going to find value and love in this medium still is through your own personal growth that you keep improving and you keep getting better. Mark my words, those jobs, you're going to see those job positions because what will happen is more work will actually be created. There's going to be more studios, more advertising, more companies that are going to use this artificial intelligence technology to move into areas that they were of, of creation that they didn't even think that they were capable of doing or even thought about doing. And as they start to build their companies, they're going to go, okay, this is great. We got the artificial intelligence technology, but now we need some artists to kind of like fix upon and make this better and do some other things with it. So you're going to see that rise. Um, I truly believe that this is what's going to happen. So my, 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 what I just want to get across to you more than anything today is not in my defense of like, oh yeah, AI, I love everything that it's doing. I don't, I got a lot of problems with it. And, and I, I do feel that artists need to be compensated for, especially if they're used or their work is being used or generated in some way. I do feel that artists need to have their, uh, give permissions to be able to generate their name. But I do love this idea. Like someone was just showing me today that I could do a design and all of a sudden my design, I draw my own design. But all of a sudden that client says, I just don't see it. I need to see it. And executives oftentimes don't know what the hell they're looking at. You know, they need things thrown in front of them all the time. I, can't, I don't really see it. I don't know how this is going to work in a 3G, uh, 3D world. You know, I can't envision it. So you're able to take your own design and maybe you don't have that skill set per se just to full on make something, either render something and do 3D modeling yourself or either paint something to the quality to make it look three-dimensional in that realm. I don't. I don't do that. That's not the sort of work that I do. I'm a line art guy. I'm a paint bucket fill guy. But to take your design and actually transform it with and, and then go back and tweak little things and make it look three-dimensional and save yourself three to five hours of work, how great is that to get your time back and do that? And then you can, you're charging the client for this. They, you know, they don't know that you're what you're doing. You're using artificial intelligence to generate this in a few seconds of your own work. And then you can use that to your advantage. So I encourage you to think about that and use these things to your advantage just to help you move a little bit more forward and don't get so close-minded off of it and just know this is a runaway train. There's no stopping it. Don't try to, I mean, you're going to just be looking back in the rear view mirror and going, wow, you know, why, why wouldn't I just looking forward? Why wasn't I just paying attention and just really thinking about where this might go and how I can be a part of it um, in, in the future? Okay, something really to consider about. And that's why I always encourage you to focus on your own growth to make sure that you're really working on what it is that you need to um, accomplish. All right. Thanks for watching this. Be sure to check out my Kickstarter campaign. The link is in the bio. It's a new book that I'm putting out showing how I break up all my designs that I've worked them in uh, different phases of my life and giving lots of cool notes, but check out the Kickstarter and see if it's something that you want to back um, and be a part of. Um, I'd love for that. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Join SDA for less than a dollar a day and drastically improve your skills at silverdrawnacademy.com.